Hi, it's John Cronshaw here with my author diary for the week ending December the 3rd, 2023. Can't believe we are in December. I mean, it feels like December. It's freezing. It's really cold here at the moment. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been working on a couple of projects this week. I've been working on Punks vs Zombies. So I wrote a couple more episodes of that. Uh, so I'm now up to episode 16. Um, so yeah, that's going well. Really been enjoying that story. Um, I also have been working on Ravenglass Legends book two. So I've got about six and a half thousand words done for that. Um, I think I mentioned last week that I thought that the, um, you know, what, what I had was too much of a mess. And I, I kind of figured it's actually going to be quicker for me just to rewrite this wholesale. So that's what I've been doing. I've been rewriting these scenes. I think they're probably better for it anyway. Um, so yeah, just been uh, writing the kind of uh, finale climactic battle scene for one of the point of views in that story. So yeah, that has been good. Um, I also wrote a chapter for Guild of Assassins, the first book. So my wife is currently going through that at the moment. And there was a point where she went, you know, this bit here is really thin. Um, I think it needs more. So I did more. So I think I ended up writing like a 1300 word scene where it was just like a quick, oh, he went and did this and this before. So now it's, you know, stuff is happening and it's given me an opportunity to well as well to kind of um, highlight the main character's emotional state and to, I suppose, uh, just kind of make it more obvious what his motivations are um so yeah yeah i think i think that was worth doing anyway um so in terms of reading i well i haven't been reading i've been listening to a great courses thing on well, it's called conspiracy and conspiracy theories i think it's called um michael Shermer, who is the guy who is doing the course and uh, he does like skeptic magazine and things like that um, but yeah, really interested anyway. Um, I'm really interested. I mean, yeah, I I've, I've, think you probably tell if you've been listening to this for a while, but I am really interested in conspiracy stuff. Um, not as a conspiracy theorist, but someone who is, I suppose, interested in that world as an observer, I suppose, and interested in the types of conspiracies that exist and the types of conspiracies people believe. And um, I suppose the point uh, which the kind of become from what would you call it like uh just kind of a niche um you know kind of underground thing to being quite mainstream and i think there are i think more so than ever we've got a lot of conspiracy theory type stuff that has seeped into mainstream thinking mainstream politics and things like that so it is actually really important to um be aware of conspiracies or its conspiracies how the ideas are formed and I suppose the, um, what do you call it? Like the, the blind spots, I suppose we all have in our thinking um, in kind of how we gather information and things like that. Um, and just, yeah, it's it's really interesting anyway. So yeah, definitely check that out if that is something you're interested in. I've also been listening to a podcast as well, um, which is a few years old now and it's called Tales from the Rabbit Hole. And this is by, I think it's called Mick West, I want to say. And he did the book that was called How to Escape the Rabbit Hole, which, again, about conspiracy stuff. Um, and what he does is he has conversations with, um, you know, people like 9-11 truthers, flat earthers, that kind of thing. And it's interesting because he's not kind of bombarding people with facts, uh, which probably doesn't help. Um, but he, he has a kind of respectful conversation and he's, he's interested in how and why these ideas come about so yeah definitely worth checking out that other well um so yeah so next week um we are in december now so i think we've got a few weeks until my son breaks up from school um i do want to carry on with ravenglass legends um and basically i think something like a month and a half ahead now with punks versus zombies so i can put that on hold if i want but saying that will probably mean that i'll end up just doing that all next week um, <laughs> so who knows uh, but yeah i definitely want to get this ravenglass legends thing at least this uh, first arc complete 
Um, I think, yeah, see what the second arc holds when I get back to it. Because I do have a first draft, but I'm not that confident in it now based on the stuff I've been working on recently. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, but it is really cool to get back to that story. And um, just to kind of, you know, one thing that I've been doing with my stuff in the Ravenglass universe, so this includes things like, you know, Ravenglass Chronicles, the Dawn of Assassin stuff, is they all add to a puzzle. There's a bigger puzzle, a bigger thing that's gone on in the world. And each of these books will add clues to it and add different things to it. So in this book, you know, you get the idea of what this material Ravenglass actually is, um, what it's linked to, what it's caused by. Um, so, yeah, it, it kind of gives answers to other stories. And I think as a build up, writing more stories in this world, it's it's going to become more clear. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited by it. I think it's quite a cool thing anyway. Um, so it rewards the readers who are, you know, with me through several books rather than just kind of dipping in and out of uh, one book here and there because it happens to be in the charts or something. Um, so, yeah, no, that that is uh, something anyway. Um, also, oh, final thing. Um, I've set up an account on Ream. So this is a subscription service for authors. Um, and what this is, it's a bit like Substack in a way, um, but I think that the reader experience is a lot better. Um, so I'm John Cronshaw, author on there. It's, uh, or is it my, is it reamstories.com? So that's that's the website. But Google it anyway, and I'm on there, and started posting punks versus zombies on there. Um, I think Guild of Assassins as well. And I have already put, Blaze of Wolfsbane up on there. So yeah, a few few different things anyway. I'm just gonna see, you know, what, what that platform is like for discoverability really. Um because I, I feel like there's there's advantages to the Substack. You know, I've been doing it for a while now. There's also advantages to this new Ream thing. Um but does it have the discoverability? Um does it have, you know, what I need really? And we'll see. So, yeah, who knows? So until next time, anyway, cheerio.